Saturday marks a milestone for the Akron Marathon. It's the 10th year for the event, and a record crowd will be at the starting line. Race officials say more than 15,000 runners are expected for the marathon, half marathon, and team relay. Tomorrow, volunteers will pack goodie bags for all of the runners, and the Health and Fitness Expo is this Friday. This year, we found an army of runners lacing up their shoes to honor a local girl, a baby girl, who battled so much in her short life. Here's Bob Jones with the story. The brilliant smile of a beautiful baby girl could mask her pain and her parents' anguish, if only for a moment. She would look into your eyes and she just was so captivating. She looked straight into your soul, that little girl. She would smile. She would have the opportunity to find joy. Quinn Seymour was born with a rare and devastating connective tissue and blister disorder known as EB. Her parents, Mark and Mandy from Stowe, constantly covered her in ointment, and her clothes consisted of bandages from head to toe. She lost 70% of her skin. It's commonly called the worst disease you've never heard of. You do see this child suffering, and you wonder, are we doing anything good for her to take away any of the pain and suffering? She loved to be held. There was no greater place for her than in my arms. Quinn underwent chemo and a bone marrow transplant at a Minnesota hospital, but died two days shy of her eight-month birthday, leaving behind life-changing lessons. She is hope. She is inspiration. She, if she can endure what she went through, I can do anything. And so, this Saturday, Mark, Mandy, and more than 20 other relatives and friends will run Akron's Half Marathon to honor Quinn and bring awareness to EB. We're going to run a half marathon. It's going to be a couple hours of moderate pain for us. It isn't even close to what a dressing change is like for one of these kids with EB. They'll wear shorts with the words, running to end blisters, and purple shirts that read, Quinn's Butterfly Army. They call the children butterfly children because their skin is as fragile as a butterfly's wings. And for all of the runners, a reminder just how fragile life can be. She brought people together, and she continues to, and so it'll be a celebration. On your side, Bob Jones, News Channel 5. Eight months of life, leaving such a legacy. The Seymour family is also hoping to raise half a million dollars to build a chapel in Quinn's honor inside the Minnesota hospital where she was treated. To find out more, go to newsnet5.com.